Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can get user input in C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, at the top of your code, make sure you have using system because we'll be needing it to get user input from the console. Next, in our main method here, we are going to do string name equals console.readline. So we are going to be making a variable. It's going to be called name and it's going to be of the string type, meaning this name variable will store string values. And console.readline allows us to read stuff the user types into the console up until they hit enter. When they hit enter, whatever they've typed on that line will be stored in our name variable as a string. After that, we can then do console.writeLine, you entered in speech marks, then we can do plus, then we can do name. And we have a space here, so there's a gap between you entered and name. But basically, this is going to print out you entered plus the name to the console. So whatever we type in here is going to be printed out where this name is. Let's do another console.writeLine statement. We're going to do console.writeLine, enter your age. So we're going to be asking for user to enter their age. Then we're going to do two lines of code. So we're going to do int age, and that's it. We're going to be creating a variable. It's going to store integers, which are whole numbers, and this variable is going to be where we store the age of the user. And then we're going to make a bool, which is a true or a false. It's going to be called success. And then we do equals int.trypass console.readline out age. By default, when we enter data into the console in C sharp, it's stored as a string. And the user might decide, yo, I'm going to be a badass and not type in an age when asked for an age. Maybe they type their name, or maybe they type it as words as opposed to the number. We don't want the program to crash if they do that. So what we do is, we need to try and convert the input to an integer. So we do int.trypass, and then we do whatever we want to try and convert to an int. So this is where we're going to call our console.readline code. So we're going to try and convert the user input to an int, or an integer. And then out is going to be, where do we want to store this int, if the input is successfully converted to an int? And so we do out and then we do age because we want to store it in our age variable. And bool success is basically going to store whether or not the conversion was successful. So if it is an int, this will become a true, otherwise it becomes a false. We are then going to do an if else statement. We're going to do if success. By default, if you put a bool in an if statement, you're checking if it's true. So if it was a success, we do console.writeLine, you are plus age plus years old to print out the variable. Otherwise you do console.writeLine, that's not a valid age. So this else statement occurs if bool success is equal to false. And this if statement here occurs if it's equal to true. After that, we need to do a console.read key to prevent the console from closing once we've done all of our input stuff. With all of that, save your work and hit play. So, let's type a name. Let's do max. You entered max, enter your age. Let's do 54. And it says you are 54 years old. That's all good. However, let's type uh, max again, but let's type five as our age. And it says that's not a valid age. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C Sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.